today I am participating in a collaboration that is being hosted by a wonderful sister here on YouTube and that is Tammy Thompson from Tammy Thompson TV MG and it is the April Entryway Collaboration. She hosts this collaboration every month on the last Thursday of the month. I did not get to participate last month but I wanted to show her some love and make sure I participated in this month's collaboration. So let me tell you what I decided to do. And how I have decorated it for the season um, with no commentary whatsoever. But since we're all stuck at home, I thought well, let's change it up a bit. So today's video is going to be how I style my home for summer. And we are going to start with this console that is in my entryway. So I decided I wanted to change up the look, a, up, change the look up a bit if I could talk. And so I decided to change the credenza, don't mind my feet. But I wanted a mirrored look. And as you can see, it has an antiqued finish on it. And I really love that. I think it looks perfect here in the entryway. And for the summer, I am going with a coastal glam theme. And I thought this would be perfect um, I picked up this vase from, it's not a vase, I guess it's a stand, um, an art piece, a stand, I'm not sure what you would really call it, but I picked it up from Z Gallery, um, about three years ago, and it's been in my home theater in the loft area and I decided to switch it up and bring it down here because it's white and I figured it would go really well with my coastal glam theme and I absolutely love it down here. Um, I don't remember how much this was. Um, it's kind of heavy so I don't want to pick it up. Um, I, will, I, it, I bought everything from Z Gallery on clearance so it could not have been more than $50, if that. So I really love how it looks. Um, these little seahorse um, statues I picked up from Ross. Um, I love Ross. You could always find really inexpensive home decor there. This was $12.99. And if you didn't know it came from Ross, you would think that it cost a whole lot more because I think it just looks so luxe and so glam. I absolutely love them. I featured them in a summer tablescape last year and I think they look perfect here on the console. This um, coral is faux coral that I bought. Um, it was on clearance from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, I forget. It's missing the base, but I didn't really mind that. I think it still looks really nice. And I think it looks perfect here in this area. Um, this vase, believe it or not, came from the Family Dollar. It's a funny story. I was out the other day looking for toilet paper and, of course, couldn't find any. So I was right near a family dollar so it's like let me go in and see if they have any and they didn't but as, as I was walking back to check to see if they did I saw this very nice looking vase absolutely love it it was on sale for $12.50 I think that was the price or maybe $12.99 but it's white and it has silver perfect absolutely love it um, it was rolling around in my car and hit another vase and it has a small crack in it, but I don't think you can really tell. And I think it looks perfect here on the, the console with everything else. You know, I love 
black and white and I'm drawing in the silver for a little glam. This orchid I absolutely love. It is something that I picked up from the Dollar General. Now, I will tell you, this is really, really tall and it did not, it came in a pot that I didn't like, so I cut it out. I also didn't like the color of the flowers, so I actually painted these black myself using a little watered down paint, this regular paint that you pick up from Walmart. And I think they came out really, really nice. Look at that. Absolutely love it. And again, this is a simple DIY to change your home decor and make it into something that would fit your style and your home. This flower was on sale at the Dollar General for $25. No, yeah, $15, sorry. It was on sale for $15 and I bought two and at the Dollar General on Saturdays, they have a $5 coupon that you can use that will take $5 off of a $30 purchase. So I bought two of these, they were $30. I used the coupon, it took it down to 25. So I got both of these for 1250. Yes, 1250 for this lovely, awesome plant and I, absolutely love it and it fits perfectly in my home after my little DIY. Now I love this sign. I know I probably said love 50 million times already but I absolutely adore this sign. This came from Burlington. It was on sale. It was on clearance. For $17 and it was because it had a smudge down at the bottom you can barely see it but it's down there and I tried to wipe it off as best as I could but if you don't get real close on it you can't see and I think this fits perfectly here I absolutely love it so a tip I would give you when you are out shopping for home decor, if you see something that's damaged or slightly damaged, you can probably take it home and use something to clean it up to make it look brand new again. So absolutely love that. That is a tip for you as well as a tip for buying home decor on clearance that may not fit your style. And you can do a DIY on it and turn it into what you absolutely love and need. Now, the one thing I am still considering changing is this lamp. Don't mind my reflection. It is quarantine and yes, I'm comfortable and I've been working from home and this is my home attire, shorts and a t-shirt. Um, so this lamp, I absolutely love it. I got it on clearance from Marshalls um, two years ago. It was on sale for $39.99, and I have seen this lamp offered at other places for $150. And so I had to pick it up. I absolutely love it. I love the Lucite finial at the top and the Lucite at the bottom. Perfect glam just up my, just right up my alley. I absolutely love it but I'm not sure that it goes with the vibe that I am trying to achieve in the entryway. So I have another lamp and I picked it up from Target and I am going to do a quarantine home decor haul. So if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you do not miss that upcoming episode. We all cannot go out home decor shopping, but that has not stopped me as long as there is online shopping and I can find something on clearance or that is budget friendly, I am going to buy it. The other thing that I bought for the space, like I said, was this console table. Um, I picked this up from Overstock. Um, it was on sale for 
I want to say five something, four something. I used my coupon, so it must have been four something because after the coupon, it was like 360. And my boyfriend put it together. The um, door hinges were a little wonky, not in the right place. But luckily, he's a pro at putting furniture together and he worked it out. So, absolutely love it. I don't think you can go wrong. If you are interested in this console table, I will leave a link in the description box down below. Unfortunately, I don't think they sell this. Um, gosh, why can't I think of the name of this? I don't think they sell this stand anymore on Z Gallery, so I can't link it. And the other items I've just picked up on clearance from other places that I don't really have online shopping to, um, links like that. So, but you can probably find something similar online to fit your needs or at your local Dollar General. And I don't know, maybe check out Target because I know Target is still open. So this is how my entryway will look for the summer. Again, the theme is Coastal Glam. I will be showing you other areas of my home. I, my next video will actually be next week. Um, but before that, I'm going to show you my home decor haul, the items that I picked up for summer. So if you are new here, welcome. And I hope you consider sticking around, hitting the subscribe button and becoming a part of my YouTube family and join me on my YouTube journey. I thought I would give you a different take on how I style my home, um, give you a little insight into my thought process, where I pick up items, how much I pay for them, and how I put them all together. So if that is something that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button. So how do you like this look? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what you think. Does this scream coastal glam? I think so. I might change up something here. Mm, maybe try a little something different, but I like the way it looks right now. So let me know your thoughts. I'd like to thank Tammy for hosting this collaboration. I really enjoyed it. Um, it makes you get creative, especially now when we can't go out shopping. And to just think outside the box to come up with something that will reflect our styles and our homes for the month or actually for the season. So I will leave a link for Tammy's channel down below, as well as a link of the playlist for all the participants. So I hope you liked today's video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I will be having a new video coming up soon on quarantine shopping. We cannot get out to go to the store shopping, but that does not stop us from shopping online. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you do not miss that upload. So that is all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you have an awesome day. And remember, always strive to be better tomorrow than you were today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, stylers.